Look, we found an alien. There's an alien in the trees. Look at that glowing orb. There's a glowing orb up also there. Also called a street lamp by most No, look at this. It's landing. The alien's coming down for us. Look. It's an alien. E.T. phone home. Street lamp. E.T. phone home. Oh wait, it is. It's just a street light. Oh, flat earthers. Meg, Meg spotted another alien up there in the sky. But that first alien that we thought we saw is just that street lamp right there. It's really not funny. And she doesn't think it's very funny. And if we see here, it says that the the APS location is 250 feet this way, right? So this is called Newport Way, and we're heading towards Revel, the overpriced uh, nursing home for elderly people, where they can get a screaming deal on a one-bedroom apartment for between five and nine thousand dollars a month. It's a really good value, let me tell you. Uh, because the profit margin for the owner of Revel is only 250%, so they're not ripping anyone off. Yeah, nursing homes are a really good value for their tenants. I mean, the people that own them. Yeah. Well, it's effectively a scam, kind of like the inkjet cartridges for printers. It, it is, or like overpriced medications. Oh, look, more aliens. Oh, no, those are streetlights. Actually, I heard there's aliens in America from other countries. But that's geopolitically incorrect. That was just for a ha ha ha, okay? I, I believe, like Christ Jesus, in accepting everyone and real Christian inclusivity and actual loving kindness and treating other people with dignity and respect, just to be clear. And I realized that was an off color comment, but here, look, you can see their sign. They have the spirited pub, like that. And, and here's the property I'm talking about, the Revel community. So if you're a well-heeled senior and you wanna live in Issaquah on Newport Way, you can check this place out and fork over your family estate so your children don't inherit anything by giving these jerks all of your money. And they have an outside living space, but we never see hardly any of the people who live here out there because they're old and, well, you know, not very energetic like little kids. So they have a modern American restaurant in there too. But they did put in this really nicely engineered concrete mixed-use pathway here, equipped with modern LED pathway lighting. And contrary to the way the iPhone makes it look, most of it's actually a cooler color temperature, although the color correction engine for this video function makes it appear warmer the way I would like it. In reality, it's more of a daylight color. Yeah, it's more of like a bright neutral white where you can see that kind of orange white high pressure sodium light off in the distance down here. Here, I'll zoom in. See, these guys down here, like that one in the center there, that's a high pressure sodium, where this operation here, I have no idea why it's color correcting it. It really isn't that color. Um, neither is the moon. It's false coloring. The moon does not look like that. Uh, it's a much cooler white color. So, the iPhone's uh, neural cores or whatever it's using on this video, uh, it's warming up the color of the light, which I actually really like. So the way you're viewing the video is the way I wish the world looked. 
and not the way it actually appears. So I guess it gives the YouTube content kind of an idyllic way for my memories to reflect on since this is technically a random personal video. But I'm gonna post it to YouTube anyways because, well, as you might be able to tell, my YouTube channel is a random collection of memories from my personal life. In this example, I didn't really wanna go for a walk, but Meg asked and we went on a longer walk. And, and that's okay because getting up and moving around helps to move blood flow around. And being sedentary is technically unhealthy. It's like as bad as smoking for your health. I'm talking about smoking cigarettes and tobacco products. Um, so one of the best things you can do after eating dinner is to go for a 10 or 15 minute walk. And what it does is every time you take a step, it helps push the food through your gastric system. So your stomach, you know, the bile and acid, it helps to liquefy the food. And then it gets it into your small intestine where microbes and stuff help to break it down so that you can absorb the food molecules as liquids into your body so your cells can use the biochemicals from the food to make cell ingredients to repair old cells and make new cells and so forth. And that's how food influences health and wellness or disease pathology. A lot of um, diseases are actually from a lack of dietary fiber, too much carbohydrate and sugar, not enough healthy fat, uh, protein laced with weird hormones, genetically engineered ingredients, fungicide, pesticide, herbicide, artificial colored dye, ultra processed food, junk food, fast food, all the hallmarks of the standard American diet making people fat, dumb and happy or sick over long periods of time, causing cardiovascular disease, cancers, type two diabetes, high blood pressure, metabolic syndrome diseases like that. And I'm not going off on a long diatribe about all of that, but since you're watching my content, that's kind of the things that we like to consider. So like when we ate dinner tonight, we cooked up some lamb meat with seasoning and put it in a gyro bread and smeared some tzatziki and hummus and then put some salad greens and diced up raw tomato and onion and then um, a cilantro and parsley and, um, and then a little lemon juice, salt and pepper. And they were pretty tasty. And um, I had two and Meg had one. And there's a little bit leftover lamb meat from Safeway that was free technically. Meg did a coupon clipping thing with the Safeway app, which was really a good deal. And um, yeah, we cook from home a lot because actually going out's more expensive. You're paying other people to do labor. Plus they'll use ingredients you would never buy at the grocery store. And you can control the nutrient profile of what you're eating uh, since everyone has different nutritional requirements based on their age, activity level, race, gender, and other factors, lifestyle, genetics, and so forth. So there's no one size fits all solution. Just like um, a baby doesn't have the same nutritional requirements as an elderly person and a teenager has different requirements than an adult. And then, so I can't give you one size fits all answers, but I can say there's a lot of problems with the Western diet or di dietary diseases known as diseases of civilization that basically exist because people eat a lot of the wrong things too much in too large a serving too often. They never fast. They don't drink enough water. They're chronically dehydrated. There's an epidemic kidney failure problem in America. They literally can't even make the kidney dialysis filters fast enough. Oh, this is the overpriced ripoff apartment complex uh, anthology where we live. Yeah, when the lease ends at the end of July, uh, we're not coming back because they want to raise our rent to almost $4,000 a month and that's just uh, criminal. So I'm gonna give you a tour. We're actually going to the mailbox assembly. Um, and it, I wanna, I'm not, it's not Anthology's fault, it's Secure Properties, Security Properties. Uh, they're the criminal thieves that get away with extorting people for this rent. Here they leave the TV on and lights on and stuff. And then they charge a common area maintenance fee for this, uh, even though nobody's watching it. And then they, they leave the hot tub running, so there's part of the electric bill that they charge everyone. This is the office. Uh, the upstairs is the workout gym. They have an elevator. This is the mail room. They have free coffee if you bring a cup with you. People leave packages all over the place. I can't believe they're not stolen. 
as you can see, it goes around like this. And if you were to order stuff online, uh, you can pick it up at this parcel pending thing. You click on here and then you enter the code and it opens the doors to this really elaborate assembly of doors here. They, they do have outdoor seating with a grill. I mean, there's a lot of features and amenities here that, that are open for everyone to use. Um, they're good on the landscaping. So if you live here and you're not into doing yard work, uh, the buildings are relatively nice, as you might be able to tell from the video. Um, the pool area is really cool. On a sunny day, it gets super busy uh, with families, with children, which are having fun there. A lot of people like to drive down this thing and bomb the dumpsters at 3 a.m. with crap that they don't know where else to get rid of. And um, it's a problem through the entire complex. They drop furniture and TVs and all kinds of stuff. There's actually a 300-pound I-beam section of steel on, roll on a roller cart uh, in the dumpster currently. But you can see they even pressure wash. If you notice that the, the concrete of this patio looks real crispy, that's because they recently pressure washed it. So this is very military industrially maintained. Um, if you notice that the tops of these rails look shiny, it's because they put metal caps over them to minimize the wood corrosion. That only took three years of complaining uh, to get that upgrade. They, um, they did use tasteful warm white LEDs in here instead of that obnoxious daylight colored 5,000 Kelvin crap they use everywhere else. Um, so I really appreciate that. The, it's, it's less glare and it has less blue light in it. So it's not a stimulant at nighttime as badly at least. Uh, I would consider 3000 Kelvin like this, a tasteful light color. Like most people, if you notice in their units, use the same colors. They don't use blue white lights in their place because they're not from countries where that's common, where it's hyper bright. Um, and if the automotive people were paying any attention to human eye sensitivity, cool white, uh, 4200 or 4000 Kelvin is the peak spectral sensitivity of the human eye for lighting on a car and so i'm going to cut off the video here but you can see there's concrete on steel stairs that connect it's three stories tall and people put christmas lights out like that and you can see the building they're very nice they're nice buildings